Hey there folks, my name is Deezer and welcome back to Resident Evil 3 Nemesis with Wayne. Hello. Now I did review the footage from last time and I did notice that the cutscenes were way louder than the rest of the game. So it was hard to hear Wayne and even myself. So uh, I have turned the game down like significantly. Hopefully it will come through better this time. But be aware, the cutscenes are louder, and so most likely we're probably just going to shut up for the cutscenes and let them play out, uh, and then everything else we'll just talk, though. So, all right, so let's go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I put away my ink ribbons? I also did notice a few frame rate issues. Uh, I changed some settings in hopes that it might help. Wait a minute, warehouse key. Yeah, you picked that up last time. It was next to the door. Right, but I threw it away, I thought. Did I accidentally... Did I load the wrong save? Let me see here. Uh, check the map. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes, hang on. you did. But, wait a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Where are my ink ribbons? Let me see something. Do I have two saves here? I do. This is weird. Okay, I'm gonna put this away. We're gonna go back out and I'm gonna see if see if we run into the same stuff we ran into before. In fact, what is it? No, where is it? is it? I don't remember what it was. Ah, damn it. Okay. Can't remember what button it is to unlock frame, but I was like, I'll just real quickly go through and see. But what the hell? Reset the game. Yeah, I think you loaded the wrong save. I don't know how I did that though, because I just loaded the the uh, save state that we had, because I hit the save state before. Hey, we'll just load up the other game, and we should be fine. A little bit of a snafu there. There we go. Warehouse two. They have taken everything from me. Everything, but I won't give up. I won't allow them to win. I will survive. They can't stop my last escape. That is so weird. That the game, like, in Japan was called My Last Escape, or Last Escape or whatever, and, like, it's right. being repeated here, yet they completely changed the title. That's interesting. Okay. Now we're good to go. Dun-dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun-dun. Dun dun dun. Good old same footstep sound over and over again. It's the way footsteps work. It's the way footsteps work. Yep. So it looks like, yeah, the, the people who get killed by zombies do in real time change, and then after so long they will change into zombies and attack you. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, I do too. It's a nice little feature. Alright, so... So, looking at my map on that website I use, uh, the stuff that's in dark green you don't actually go to. Oh, okay. So... It's cut off, right? So, if you bring up the map once you come through the door, uh, then zoom out. You see the, the bits that aren't filled in? Yeah, yeah. They're the bits you can go into. Okay. So, okay, and so they're the there... rooms that you go to. Okay. So now that I've gotten rid of some equipment or some stuff, let's go in down here again. Grab the lighter fluid. It looked it was. Uh, I think so. Yes. So now I can combine that. Whoops. Gotta use these controls. That was purely an assumption on my part. Well, it, uh, it, is, it is lighter fluid. Yep. Yeah. You assumed correctly. All right. 
there anything over here? No. Okay, so we have to go... Well, we've got... I don't know what options we have here. we got no real open doors that I can think of, but we'll take a look at the map in a second. So there's a door straight ahead of us that's locked. What is, red right. means it's the that's the place we're in right now. Yeah, so... There's another one right there that's locked. There's a door at the top of the screen, if you look, that you can get to. It's now on oh, the I see it, screen. I see it, I see it. Okay, so all the way over here... Chase! <laughs> Hey, I got some gunpowder. <laughs> can I climb over this? No, it's blocking it. Wait, you can climb over other things, but you can't climb over a car? Come on, video games. Wait a minute, she was looking at something. What were you looking at? Oh, you're just looking at the zombie. Okay. Wrecking car is blocking the way. All right. So... I can't go that way. So you want to go down? Uh, I hear a zombie. Is so that one? So those. So you two... want to go through the door on your right? Oh, well, that's where I've been. That's the warehouse. Right. So go through that that the door that's on the left of the map, but it'll be all right when you're running down there. And then follow it round, and it will take you up to the top. Does that make sense? Zoom out. Whoop. Whoops. Sorry. See what I'm saying? So if you go through that door that's on the left at the bottom, right, and then take the turn, right, to go through that door, which is where we were just at, right, you can follow it round, and then up the top, which will take you through to that area you haven't been to yet. Right here. Like this stuff? Yeah. That, yeah. this right here, that's that car that's blocking the way. No, 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 no. So you keep running down. Right. And there's two doors in front of you, right? Right. These two right here. Yes. So you go through the left one. Right. Okay. And then take the fork and go through the leftmost door. And okay. then if you follow those yellow doors there. Oh, I see keep it. Going up, I see it. It takes you there. Right? Okay. Now I see what you're saying. I thought you were saying so, a different way. <laughs> no. And here I am pointing at my screen, and you quite clearly can't see anything. That's not doing anything good. But you know. All right. Okay. I got you. I got you. Glad you have me with uh, with the with me on these, because otherwise I just would have been running in circles over and over again. Yeah. That's <laughs> what you're here for. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure I've told the story before, but I watched someone playing the Resident Evil remake on Twitch. Yeah. Yeah, and she was, was in the same room for an hour. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> this isn't that difficult. Alright, so do you want to bring the map up again? Yeah. So All just right, up yeah, here. Good. So this is... Yeah, this is the, the bar or whatever that we went into. Oh wait, no, that's not... See, like I'm just all turned around. Go, keep going straight instead of down that way. Okay, here we go. There you probably go. go unlock this. This might be able to be unlocked. Yep, cool. There we go. Progress. Awesome. Ciao. Through we go. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yep. Oh, jeez. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Yeah, yo. That's how we roll. <laughs> It'd be really funny if that didn't work. Oh, yeah, that would have been awful. They just like... get, like, mobbed. <laughs> Can I step through the fire? That's always like a question in game, like these older ones, like, is the fire gonna hurt me or no? Okay, it's not gonna hurt me. What's this? Red herb? 
Sure, I'll take a red herb. Uh, there are two of them. Do I take both? It's been bound tight with rope and won't open. It seems to be soaked with oil. Oh, I wonder what I could do. Yay! The better question is, what, why did that not just burn off when you just detonated a giant barrel? <laughs> Good question. I mean, seriously, uh, video games. Right. Video games don't make sense. What does Red Herbs do again? They boost green ones. Right, so I can't combine two reds together. Right. Alright. Just gonna have to... Oh! That was a bad noise. Dogs, I think? Yep, I hear dogs. Good. I remembered that. Wait a minute. There's a fire hydrant. If I had a fire hose, I might be able to extinguish the fire over there. Okay, good to know. So let's go through here, see if we can find ourselves a fire hose. Probably will not be conveniently found. Oh, save room, yay! What's this? Gunpowder A. The other one is a yellow. I don't know if that's gunpowder B. C, I'd imagine. I thought B was I blue. Think, I think they said that C can't be found. It can only be made. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Gunpowder B. Because, yeah, there's another one in here that's a gunpowder B, isn't it? A. Yeah, gunpowder B. No, I guess okay. that one's yellow, too. Yeah, I thought it was blue. So, alright. Uh, equip. Oh, wait. Ink ribbons. Where are my ink ribbons at? Okay. Old typewriter. Save progress. Yes. Alright. Third spot. Awesome. The alleyway. Okay. Put this back. And then save state, and hopefully that will work. I don't know why it didn't last time, but hopefully it saves it this time. Alright. Through the fire and flames we go. Not a Dragon Force fan? Not overly, no. I, I'm okay. I can understand that. That's okay. Water is gushing out from broken hydrant. Okay. RPD. We will come back to that. Because I know what happens there. And I don't want to deal with that right now. Locked with a simple right. lock. But she might have nothing to do with it. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. That's where we just... Okay, I guess I don't have a choice. I gotta go to RPD. Shouldn't it be RCPD? Raccoon City Police Department? Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure I'm not crazy on that one. I'm fairly sure it should be RCPD. Yeah. Cutscene. General! Brad! We've got a. choose to fight him or I can enter the police station. We're going to enter the police station. Yeah. Ooh, good dodge. So, yeah, now Nemesis is in the game and Nemesis is basically a constant threat that is always looking for you. Jeez. 
Okay, so we I wonder if you wait long enough if he'll just smash through the door. I think so, actually. I think if you do wait long enough, he does break through. It's boarded up. Okay, this isn't boarded up. Cool. But yeah, he's gonna like crash through windows and like through doors and stuff. Very similar to like Mr. X. Yeah. Yeah. Kill him too. Um, I don't know if that's accurate. I feel like there is a way to like stop him, but yeah, not. I don't think there's a way to kill him. Like he can, you can like fight him off enough that he'll uh, he'll stop and go away, but he'll come back. Kind of like um, uh, what's her name? Lisa Trevor from the Resident Evil remake. Look at that. For this guy, Marvin yep. Branagh. He's been fatally wounded by zombies. He appears to be holding something in his hand. Marvin's report. September 24th. There are reports of a theft in the municipal building before dawn. A jewel-decorated clock at the main gate was damaged. Two of the 12 gems that are installed at the face of the clock are missing. Due to the lack of available officers at this time, I have no choice but to suspend the research of this case. Signed, Marvin Branagh. September 26th, based on an autopsy report of a 42-year-old restaurant owner, I've discovered that he has one of the missing gems. He apparently took shelter in the police department at about 10 a.m., where he was shot to death within 10 minutes of having developed the symptoms. Since the city is currently under martial law, we are forced to suspend this case. At this time, we'll keep the gem as evidence. So, there's a gem somewhere. Some shotgun shells. Just add those to the ones I have. Actually, you know yeah. what? I'm going to switch over to the shotgun. Alright. Oops. And through here. Tank controls are still a little weird sometimes. But I do like tank controls. I think they're cool. I do too. So, in theory, at this point in time, uh, Leon and Claire are... Really, really? Leon and Claire are wandering around the uh, the police station at the same time, right? Right. Yeah. Or yeah. Or they've been through here. Oh, hang on a second. I think I might know what this is. Files. Marvin's report. What was it? No. I thought I saw a number in here. Maybe I. Maybe I'm making stuff up. Okay, no, uh, I'm just making stuff up. So there's something else locked up, but I don't know what. So we'll need to find a... Hi! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come here. Whoa, they started moving fast. She, like, actually started, like, Making a, a run, yeah. No, you don't. Pretty sure Nemesis is gonna is gonna bust through in that room at some point. Hug the wall, hug the wall, just in case. Bad memories. Bad memories. I remember those hands reaching out for me. Uh, oh, what's this? Stars card. Is that? Is that? Is that Jules? It looks like her uh, face. It looks like it says Jill Valentine. It's yeah. Very pixelatedly too. Right. Examine it. See what it says. Oh yeah. An ID card for stars with Jill's picture on it. All right. There's nothing you can do with the fireplace. But, but I have a lighter. I guess I gotta right, leave that for them. Right, because they light it and then a gem yeah. falls out, right? Yep. We got our own gems to follow or to find. 
let's see here. Anything else? Empty soda cans and junk. Bueller, 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 Bueller. Nothing. Okay. Back out we go. Shoot a couple zombies. And we'll be on our way. Where you guys at? There you are. And reload. Nope, hug the wall, hug the wall, hug the wall. All right. Oh. Well then, the door is sturdily barricaded. Was that like that in two? No. Okay, as I said, I didn't think so. You, you go through there, and then there's a uh, uh, an open box on the other side. Yeah. And that's the room where you first see the liquor. Ah, oh, right, Terry. <laughs> All right, so I guess we'll have to go back through here and get jump scared by Nemesis. Actually, let me go this way. This should be a save room. There's always a save room under the stairs. Yes, exactly. It's a staple. Yay! Gunpowder A. Anything else? No? Okay. Nope. Nothing suspicious. It's so weird revisiting this this area. Oops. Other way. Other way. Other way. It'd be funny like she like opens this up and there's like a bunch of stuff from like Resident Evil 2 in here, like, where all this stuff come from? And then I yeah. go and play Resident Evil 2, and it's just like, wait a minute, where's all, where did all this stuff come from? I've never seen all this. Who's who's putting stuff in here? Oh, ink ribbon, right. Okay. Save. Thank you. Yes. Every card one. Okay, dark room. All right, let's put that back. Uh, there's a Save memo state. on the table. Oh, I see it. David's memo. My sanity is at its end. I still can't believe this is happening. We lost another man yesterday, Meyer, one of our better marksmen. He saw me panic once we were overrun by the zombies, but he came back to save me. But when the time came to return the debt, I ran. I can still hear I can still hear him calling out my name. I can still hear the screams coming from behind, the sound of his flesh being stripped from his bones. I was afraid, terrified. It's the 27th. The fight to stay alive continues. I took out several zombies who managed to break through the barricades. Now I'm cutting through the chill with whiskey, uh, unloading my Mossberg on anything undead. That shotgun's become a close friend of mine. I blasted many a zombie into fertilizer with it. We've lost 13 men as of yesterday. In three hours, we'll bicker over trivial things in the meeting room. It's a total waste of time. When I finish this bottle, my old friend Mossberg will be turning one last body into fertilizer. Peace at last. I can hardly wait. Well, that's depressing. As most things in this universe seem to be. Yeah. All right. All right, jump scare time. At least I think so. Hang on, we get around here and get ready to go up the stairs. No? Okay. I could have sworn there was a jump scare there. Maybe it's later on. Maybe it's like Resident Evil Remake where like the jump scares are kind of like weirdly like random. No, you don't. Yeah. Stay down. Get off me! Man, she moves quick. She moves quick and she can fend them off really quickly. Stay yeah. down. She is a special agent. Doorknob turns but won't budge. Seems to be nailed from the other side. Okay. Holding up a soul. Okay. I 
wonder if you have to put the blue gem in his hand. I'm wondering too. This door is open though. So let's go through here, see what's going on, and then see what's going on with... Uh... Right, but I wonder if by doing that it'll open the door that won't budge. Right. Star's key. Okay, I remember this area. That is solid barricade is set up here, okay. So yeah, let's go get that gem and see if that does something. That would be kind of... It would be weird though, for, if, for people who haven't played Resident Evil 2, like if they wouldn't know, because it didn't really say much. Statue of a God holding up his soul, like that's it. Yeah. It wouldn't be much to go on if you haven't already played through the game. But we'll give it a shot. We'll see if the, the gem is what we need. Jam, grab Okay, let's give it a shot. Because I think there's probably other rooms back in the first room, the, the main area that we may be able to go through. So. But we'll take a look at this first. Uh, looking at my map, it doesn't look like it. Oh, okay then. My mistake. It's all cut off. You can only go through that, like, one side area. Huh. Interesting. Alright. Yeah, she does move very quickly. Yeah. Nope. Mm. Doesn't work. So... Let's see here. Is there something else around here, maybe? So this says I need a star's key to unlock right. it. There's nothing else in this area. Let's see here. Huh. And the other door is just not working. But does it show... It doesn't show it as being a door I can go through, though. Right, so the, on the second floor, according to my little map thing here, there's only those three rooms. Okay. So the one you're in with the stairs, that little hallway, and then the room off of it that you need to start ski for. Okay. So, all right. So let's take a look downstairs and see if there's somewhere we can go down here. Maybe I missed something. I like that it puts the S's on there when it says it's a save room. Right. That is nice. Uh, uh, bring out the map again. What's that area on the, the left side of the courtyard? Uh, the very bottom that's in dark green? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Let's go check it out. Granted, Assuming Nemesis, the nemesis isn't, is not, yeah, yeah. not waiting for us out there. That being said, though, you do have a boatload of ammo. Yeah. So. I wonder... Is the key in here, maybe? No, it doesn't look like it. A number-based lock. Number-based. Clock tower... No. Marvin's report, David's memo. There are numbers here, but. I thought nothing. it could be the dates. Could be. 42. So 26. 24, 26. Sure. That's There's assuming no it's six. four. Oh, right. There's no six. So that's not happening then. Uh, We're missing something. Let's see. Maybe there's something in the main room. Like, maybe there's something by the computers that we missed. Because I know I didn't really explore that area very well. Right. 
So let's go through there. Did you see um, the project that somebody's trying to get Resident Evil 1.5 completed? How is that even possible? That's they. The... Oh, good. We Wait, got a map. 1. 1. 1.5 is the the demo of Resident Evil 2, right? No, that's it was it was supposed. Oh, there's the stars card. Or use the stars card. Okay. Uh, key to the stars office has been moved to the evidence room. Today's password for the safe is zero five one three. There we go. Okay, so zero five one three. Is that ammo? Yeah. Tony's arms. Zero five one three. But yeah, yeah so no. You're saying Resident Evil one point five. Right, yeah, zero, 1.5 was what 2 was gonna be, but then they scrapped it because it was too similar to 1 or something? Something like that. Yeah, it was the demo that came with the, the Resident Evil director's it, card. Was it? Maybe, maybe that's what it yeah. is, but yeah, it was like a... Yeah, they're like, somebody's trying to make like a full version of it. Okay, so what was it? Zero five one three. Yeah. Yay! Out of necessity. Star's emblem. Okay. Now let's go check this out. And I'll hold on to the gem just in case we need it while we're in there. I'm like always waiting for the jump for a jump scare right there. Just watch, it's gonna happen somewhere else. I'm just totally not gonna see it coming. Yep. <laughs> As is how jump scares work. Should be, yeah. <laughs> right, so Resident Evil directors. But yeah, someone tweeted it to me, like that they're making the 1.5. I don't need to use this key. Oh. I can't even read this. This is like way too small for me to read. How do I zoom? <laughs> you on your phone or something? No, I'm on my computer, but oh. I have the wiki page set up to look like actual Wikipedia. Oh, but okay. the text is crazy small. Uh, Weird. And that's <laughs> the pedestal. Wait. It's the desk yes. of Chris, a STARS member. Its disorganization probably reflects the owner's personality. Nice. I like that. But you can't look at her desk. Nope. Nope, not gonna take the handgun bullets. No, I, di I did get a lockpick from, uh, from her desk. Oh, though. good, yeah, because she's the master of unlocking. Yep. Desk of Wesker, captain of STARS. Yeah, I keep forgetting that this is like the same person that you play as in the first game. Like, I, it just never really occurs to me because she looks so different. Right. She's like gone rogue. Facts from Kendo Gunshot. To the boys of stars, I have some good news for you from my brother Joe. He has finalized the new handgun for official use. It is the M92F Star Special, but he calls it the Samurai Edge. It's the most balanced of the Kendo custom guns. Joe said, if this if you miss the targets with this you should carry a teething ring instead of a gun in your holster the goods will be delivered along with their proper documentation i'm sure you'll be surprised when you see what kind of excellent parts are used for the m92f i know that you'll want to thank the good people who developed it sincerely robert kendo okay then stay over here is this it no it's the magnum though but i already have it Large communication device, it's out of commission, can't send any messages from here. Whose desk is this? Rebecca, rookie member of STARS. So the Samurai Edge is, this, according to the wiki page, is the standard um, Beretta pistol oh, okay. they use, but everyone modifies their own version. 
Okay. So, so the Magnum that Barry uses is a Samurai Ace that's been heavily, heavily modified and right. things like that. Is cut okay. off. What? No survivors found. No survivors this is found. Carlos. Okay. Carlos. Don't know what that part said. All right, we're gonna go save, and then we're gonna call the episode there. Back we go. So now I have a lockpick. I remember seeing that there was an, a lockpick somewhere, or a lock somewhere, that said it was in simple lock. It was back out in the town, so we will probably have to go and leave. Oh, I just heard something crash through a window. I just heard it. Here we go. Yep, there he is. I knew it! <sighs> Whew. Okay, so now if I go back in there, I don't think... Is he gone? Or is he still there? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Music. Whoa! Yeah, he's there! <laughs> Dude is quick! <laughs> he just, like, lunged right at me. Holy shit. That's not very nice. No, not very nice at all. All right, so he's in here, so we don't have to worry about him being outside now. Oh, jeez! Wow! Oh my god, he is quick. Jesus he Christ. is super quick. Holy shit. Wonder what happens if you turn the frame rate off. Oh god, don't do it. No. <laughs> Not now. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Not dealing with that. Run, run. Wait. And then check yeah. uh, Brad. Oh, right, yeah. Where see if he, he has anything. I don't see him anywhere. Oh, really? Should be there. His body is not here, yo. I is wonder. He up by the door? No. Maybe he already turned at this point. And he's, ro and he's roaming somewhere. I don't know. Uh, he's under the stairs. Right. Yeah, that's right. He is under the stairs. I forgot about that. The little secret thing or whatever. All right. So let's get to the save point. Or a save point from here. Through here. Cool. Whoop. Ugh, that noise is awful. Should right. I be glad I can't hear it? Yes. Do you like, uh, or does like the sound of uh, silverware on a plate bother you? Like scratching? Not really? No? Okay. Not really. When it, it bangs against itself, that bothers me. Okay. For me, it's the scraping sound. I hate it. I can't stand it. So, like, I just, ugh. Ugh. Just thinking about it makes me, like, cringe. All right. Old typewriter. Save progress. Yes. Memory card one. Slot five. All right, and then save state. Cool. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode. So thank you all so much for watching. Again, Wayne, thank you for being on this episode. Go. Cool. And you guys have made this channel happen. And I thank you very much for that. And we will catch you in the next video.